Uh oh, a few days hey ago. There. Guess I don't have to introduce myself, huh? Hey, look, it's that the I get boy. That this is probably pretty confusing seeing yourself like this. I guess I should start from the beginning. That's the way it is. Now, Monokuma probably already told you this, but just in case, this killing game will continue until there are only two people left. Yeah? Now, the important part of that rule is that... Oh, there is one more. You can't... Fuck you. Why would you just skip over all the important shit like that? Hello? Well, the truth is, this isn't your first. True, it's my third. Anyone who finds out who you are is gonna come for you. So watch your back. Trust no one. Not even yourself. And never forget. You wanted this killing game. So you have to win, no matter what. No matter what. I don't want this. Live and let the languid world live. <laughs> you hella right. Chapter 4, Daily Life. The morning after the third class trial. After waking up from Monokuma's announcement, I headed to the dining hall, as always. <clears throat> uh, um. Look how few people there are now. Good morning, everyone. Ah, uh, yeah. Good morning. Good morning. That was a good sigh. Thanks, Mew. There's a dark mood in the air of the dining hall today. <clears throat> no, stop showing it. That's to be expected with what we've been through. In a situation like this, I don't see how we could all possibly stay enthusiastic. Mo, well, with two exceptions. Yo! What's wrong, bro? You're not gonna eat? <laughs> if you don't eat, then Gonto will eat you instead, Shuichi. Huh? He'll eat me? Don't you mean my breakfast? You know. Speaking of Gonto, where is he? I haven't seen him this morning. Hmm. He's not here yet? Hmm. He's probably still sleeping. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> this atmosphere is heavy. Everyone's really taking a mental beating. You guys have no energy. You need to look alive. You're all still teenagers. Huh? Yumiko? Okay. Your good mornings are too quiet. It's because you're so quiet that you feel down. Dude, she's pumped up, huh? Uh. <laughs> I didn't mean you should sigh louder. Weirdo. Weird. I thought you'd be the most depressed out of all of us. Of course I'm depressed. This is the most depressed I've been in all my 200 million years. What is this? 200 million years? But... But being depressed won't help those who died rest in peace. Tinko and Angie, too. If I stay depressed, they won't be able to rest in peace either. Okay. Whoa, she's hopping, dude. So in order to make their deaths have meaning, I've decided to live my life with positivity. So anyway, please to take care of the new me. Come on, man. You're out of breath already. You're in full speed right out of the gate. Yeah. But it's just like Himiko said. Those of us left need to look to the future and live for all of the others' sakes. Yeah, let's cheer up and work hard. This game's just getting started. Huh? Game? Oh? Huh? Isn't that what we were talking about? Uh, but now there's less people. I might be the next victim. Wow. So exciting, but I definitely don't want to die. <laughs> well, I guess that's the same for everyone else. Always messing you still around. sing crap like that at a time like... Just then the door to the dining hall burst open and... It's that boy. This big problem. Everyone, this serious. Help. Oh no. The colossal high school girl is on the other side of the wall, is she? 
Wait, that's the second time they've referenced that exact same part in this game. They need to diversify their assets, yo. Oh. Okay, maybe not that serious, but Gonto went to Courtyard before coming here. Could it be? The graffiti? Was more added to it? Mm. Yeah, more letters added. This world huh? is something. O Oitma. It's definitely going to say this world is. This world is something. Not sure what it's trying to spell. The swords? Or maybe this world? Wait. W what about the world? What does it mean? Is there some crazy story going on? Probably just graffiti, right? We should ignore it. No. No, I don't think that's a good idea. Do you want to die? Yes. Huh? This world is mine for the taking. <laughs> All right, that's just a habit of hers, but my heart skips a beat every time. Because? No one here takes credit for it, right? But now there's more added to it. It must have some meaning. You know... So seriously, none of us here wrote it? If this is a prank, you better speak up. But... But Gonta stumbled onto the writing by coincidence, right? If it was a prank, then they would have done it in a more obvious spot, not in the grass. There's nothing more depressing than an unnoticed prank. Oh, I see. It's like a titty no one wants to fondle. Ah. Well, it could just be Gonta writing it since he was the first one to find. Gonta never do that? Gonta never make trouble for everyone. It's ungentlemanly. What is that writing? I don't know. It could be this world is mine. This world is mine, Ochin Chin man. More and more gets added. Who's doing it? What does it mean? Well, I don't really get it, but maybe it's some kind of clue. Well done. Thanks for the report, Gonta. Mm. Gonta just glad to help. Oh yeah. Gonta want to help, even little. Tell Gonta if you need help with something, okay? Okay. Okay, got it. I'll let you know if I want you to punch someone. Wait. No, you don't get to tell Gonta what to do anymore. Gonta. Yeah. Gonta learned lesson after insect meet and greet. Yeah. Oh, boring. Uh-oh. <laughs> Go away! Oh, my ears are burning. Are you guys talking about me again? You must love me. Yay! Hmm? Are you getting dizzy from the face I make when I concentrate really hard? Actually, Your face, it's always the same, isn't it? Yeah. Never mind that. You guys are probably eager for it, right? My prize, that is. Right? You guys can't live without getting a prize right now, right? That's what I thought, so I brought a prize. Is it more? Oh, so quiet now. You just said that. Oh, what's an er sign? Oh my! Forgetting your catchphrase is like the kiss of death for a mascot, you know? Cause I'm a mascot. Get it? That wasn't even a joke. There was no setup, no punchline, no nothing. By the way, who's this pink stuffed pig, and why is she talking to me? Monotaro got hit in the head too much. Doink. That was two. Where am I? Where's Kaoru? What? Your character is completely different now. Doink. No. Thank you for loving me. No, don't fucking talk about that shit. How dare you? They're so freaking cute! Oh, I could watch them forever! No. I've had about enough of them. Hey, hey. hey, give us some loving too! I want my reward already! When did you get so friendly with Monokuma, Kokichi? Now then. Okay, okay. The prize this time is... No, it's Angie's paintbrush. The legendary levy stone, the priceless 
Ecto brush and a guard key, which just so happens to be the motive too. <laughs> what the fuck is that mallet emote you have? Bop. Motive. Hey. Did you say motive? Yeah. Yup. This mysterious card key is your next motive. The classic carrot and stick approach. No one can work a carrot or a stick like Daddy. Um. Yeah. Huh? Screw your carrot and your stick. Give me whips and chains all the way. You know. A card key is the motive. What does that even mean? Hmm. So the new area you can open with the card key. Is that where the real motive is? <laughs> That's a secret. Why don't you use it if you're so curious? Please wait. No, we shouldn't. If we want to prevent another murder from happening. <laughs> yoink, I'll take that key card then. Kokichi used his lithe body to his advantage and took the key card from Monokuma. No can do that. But, but that Monokuma's motive. What if another murder happened? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind that at all, you know? Huh? What? Because Because this is the killing game and we're the players, plain and simple. Why wouldn't the players play the game? Don't screw around. Quit screwing around and just give it to us. No way. No thanks. See ya. Well, he's off down to the That's library enough. room. Hey, wait up! Kokichi ran out of the dining hall, pursued by Kaito. Running in the halls isn't normally allowed, but I suppose boys will be boys. Also, I forgot to mention this, but I've hidden another flashback light somewhere. I wonder what memories you'll uncover next. Happy hunting! He said the monster hunter thing. Thanks. Hey, he remembered. Good job, Monotaro. Huh? What's so long bear well mean? You forgot that too? Come on, let's go. He got bopped. You just said it! Wait! What should we do? Kokichi and Kaito are gone! I'm worried. We cannot leave Kokichi alone with that card key motive. But, but aren't you curious about the flashback light too? That's true. Perhaps we should all search together and look for Kokichi as well. Well. That's a good idea, but let us look for Kokichi while you focus on the search. Logical. Right now we need your skills as a detective, Shuichi. Then Right, in that case, let me hold on to that. I'll look around again. Yeah. Shuichi's grown up. He's become so reliable. Now that you're so respectable, I'll let you pet me if you want. Actually. Oh, I see. So Shuichi gets that honor. That's the power of consent, boys. Shuichi is so amazing. Gonto want to be useful to everyone, too. It's okay. Don't worry. When the time comes, we'll use your body as a meat shield. Mm. Okay. Gonto hope time comes soon. No. No, you should hope that it doesn't come. Please do not use the wholesome caveman as a meat shield. Thank you. Okay, where to begin? I'll search for a place to use these mysterious items. Well, the paintbrush is probably for the big scrolls up on the fourth floor. I'm not sure about the, uh, the stone. <gasps> the stones. So let's go do the paintbrush first. Dude, I don't know what that video message from Rentara was about. It said a few days ago, and he died like a week ago at least. Which I think is more than a few days. Because each chapter is, what, like three or four days? And he died in chapter one, and we're in chapter four, so that's like at least a week. Which is a little fast and loose with a few days. Maybe he's alive. He's just hanging out somewhere. Shua! Yo, is this Okami? Ooh, fifth floor. Moving on up. Maybe this is the fourth floor. Staircase. It seems you can go upstairs from here. Hmm. A fifth floor, huh? How many floors does a school have? Probably five. I think the f first. I think there were the five islands in the second game. And whoa! Oh, is that the stairs I just came on? Okay. 
Looks like this is the top. We got the cosplay lab and some other place. Yo, look at that Monokuma. He's ascending. Oh, he's even flapping. Wow. That's classy. This one. Oh, this is the devil. The evil one. That's cool. We're level 50. Bayokuma. True. This has a completely different feel from the fourth floor. Huh? huh? That door over there is just plain suspicious. Could it be? Yeah, it's probably your room, girl. But I'm going to go check. Check it out. Look at this. Ooh, girl. This looks like an ultimate lab. I should check inside. The ultimate cosplay lab. Wow. Her lab's fucking big. This is amazing. It's like an event venue. That must mean this is the ultimate cosplayer's lab. Holy shit. She is rolling. Hey, look, there's the castle. A sewing machine and a work table. Perhaps a space to make and repair costumes? Oh, I should punch out. Punch all this shit, huh? I forget that I can do this. I will destroy you! Goodbye, fancy clothes. Chapter four. Yeah. It's okay. We've gone through three chapters of bad things happening, so I think chapter four is going to be nice and happy. Don't fool me on that, though, because I'm guaranteed to be wrong. God damn it. I can't punch these damn chairs! Not worth it. Look at this filming set. This is another set for photo shoots. It has quite the gothic feel. Well, it did before I destroyed all the chairs and shit. Giant studio set. This is a set for photo shoots, huh? There are a bunch of backdrops here. This is an incredible setup. Yeah, seriously, her lab kind of blows some of the other ones out of the water. It's fancy as hell. This looks like a bar. Is this a set too? Yeah. Well, what do you know? It's just like the real thing. Tsumugi spoke cheerily and sat down at the table in front of the counter. Hey, hey Shuichi, are you thirsty? I can make you one of my signature cocktails if you'd like. Huh? A signature cocktail? Yeah. yeah, it seems like all the drinks here are top quality stuff. I used to make them a lot in my part-time job. Don't worry, it'll be non-alcoholic, of course. Uh, okay, I'll take one. The ultimate bartender. Clink, clink. Ooh. How would you like it? A little stronger, maybe? Wait, how can it be stronger if there's no alcohol? Uh, uh, sure. Wow, you're good at this, aren't you? Yeah. Before I got sponsors for my cosplaying, I worked a bunch of jobs. I used to say to my customers, I'm in a bit of financial trouble. If only someone could help me out. <laughs> what? What is this feeling? I suddenly feel charitable. No, don't believe her lies. Okay, it's ready. Thank you. What kind of part-time job did she have anyway? Mixing drinks like this? Uh, bartender? Who else mixes drinks? Those thoughts swirling around my head, I drank the drink Sumugi handed Shuichi. to me. Please come again. Okay. Yes, thank you. I'll be back. Will I? Oh, I think I saw... Is that a Monokuma up there? I saw something very briefly. Am I tripping? I thought I saw a hidden Monokuma up in the rafters. Oh, it's the fucking drips that fall into the bathtub. Wait, I'll look around here more. I will. There was stuff up there, but it wasn't. Oh, I didn't actually talk to her yet. That was the bar set that she was talking about. Um, even with all these materials and tools, if it's by myself, I see. Cosplay is fun to do with others, right? Yeah. There's no point doing it by myself. 
Hey, Shuichi, do you want to give it a try? Come on, try cosplaying with me. Huh? Me? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's just plain fun to become fictional characters. To become a completely different person and feel like you're part of a different world. Right, right? Doesn't that sound interesting? Don't you want to live in a fictional world? But... Uh, but I'm investigating right now. Oh, right. Then let's do it later. Let me know when you feel up to it. I'll help you become your favorite character, whether it's from an anime, manga, or game. You can't! However, even if you're just trying it out, you've got to cosplay with love. Uh, okay. Right. Thanks, uh, Samugi. Have fun. I'm sure no one will use all your tools in there for a murder in like four hours. Dude, look at this cathedral. It's pretty nice. Play Dark Souls in here. Look at this lighting. Magnifique. Look at this. Yo, get Sora up in here. This door certainly matches the atmosphere of this floor. It doesn't look like it'll open. I suppose I'll have to leave it be until the next chapter. Hey, girl. Weirdo. There's an angel statue and a demon statue next to the stairs. Don't chapels usually have these? Hmm. Yeah. This place makes you feel like there's no god, but then there's this. Is that coincidence or just Monokuma's sense of humor? What is this room? The question mark room. Is this my lab? This looks like an ultimate lab, but whose oh, is it? Should check inside to be sure. Is this the ultimate detective lab? Hell yeah! Where's the whiskey? And why isn't it sepia or black and white? What is this? That's true. This looks like your research lab. Uh, it okay. is, right? Well... Let's see what's in here, but I'm getting a bad feeling from this place. A bad feeling? Well, it's my lab, so I have the right to punch everything! For a pittances of money. Yeah! Look at this, like, chemistry shit here. Pew, pew. True. I can't be stopped. Hmm. There are a bunch of files lined up. It looks like about 50 of them. What are these files for? Picked up one at random and flipped through it. Huh? Uh, it contained photographs of murder scenes and the tricks the culprits used. Huh? What is this? I hurriedly, hurriedly looked through the other files and found they were all similar. I don't know. A file containing all the tricks used for murder. That's it appears so. Well, Did this incident really happen? No. Can't be sure, but there are pictures of the scene. And all these cases seem feasible. Hmm. Feasible, huh? Then this would make a good guideline for anyone who wants to commit a murder. I'm kidding. Well, I doubt anyone's that stupid to use a file that's accessible to everyone. Monkey picked up a file at random and started flipping through it. You got a minute? Huh? This file doesn't have any photographs. It's all just drawn illustrations, but huh? illustrations? Maki began pulling files one after the other off the shelf. Okay. The newer files have photographs, but the older ones have illustrations? Uh, but why? Um, Are the old ones just fictional? The first few files have only illustrations, but the others have photographs. Is there a reason for that? I don't know. You didn't show me any of them, so I can't tell you. I mean, it showed me a tiny picture of one. But that's it. Bottles line the shelves behind the glass door. Are these? You got a minute? Looks like poison. I knew it. So you think so too, huh? That's true. There's no way that can be normal medicine in the ultimate detective's lab. She opened the cabinet's glass door and peered inside. Oh. Yeah, I know what some of these are. They're definitely poison. Then... In that case, we should try to dispose of them. We don't want anyone accidentally... What's the point? Even if we get rid of them, Monokuma would just replace them. So it's useless doing that. It would only be a temporary solution. Temporary solution? She wants to make sure no one will ever use By them. The way. Even so, I'm surprised they have so many in here. There's poison for instantaneous death, as well as ones that can inflict various symptoms. Depending on how you use them, you can set up different gimmicks. But... This doesn't feel like an ultimate detective's lab, more like a criminal's lab. I see. It's a fine line when it comes to knowing everything about crimes. I suppose that's right. There is a fine line between a criminal and a detective. 
Anyway, I've investigated all the places that concerns me. Everything here has to do with death. Because well, that is your job as a detective, especially in this killing game. Uh, okay. Yeah, I know. The only time I can use my detective talent is after someone dies. A detective can't save anyone. I'm only useful after it's already too late. Why are you so upset all of a sudden? Do you want to die? Huh? You kill me just for that? That's right. Ah, I understand why Maki Roll would say that. Your face looked pretty gloomy. It's Big Bro. How's the coronavirus Kaito. treating you, Kaito? The face as gloomy as that? I can't believe you're my sidekick. Keep your chin Be more proud of yourself, Shuichi. Everything you've done up till now is amazing. Uh, okay. Thanks. That's true. That's why you should be careful. Huh? What do you mean? You don't know. Because of how well you did in the class trials, future culprits have their eyes on you. The next culprit might come after you. Huh? Come after me? Don't worry about <laughs> it. You don't need to worry about that. I won't let anyone mess with my sidekick. Leave it to me. I'm going to protect both of you. It's a hero's job to protect his sidekicks. I don't understand. Tell that to uh, Nightwing. What if I ended up as a future culprit? Huh? Are you stupid? That's impossible. How can you believe in people so easily? I believe huh? You. Didn't I tell you before? I believe in people I want to believe in. If they betray me, it just means I made a bad call believing in them. <laughs> of course, you're one of the people I want to believe in, Maki Roll. <laughs> Look at those dead eyes, dude. By the way. Why are you even here? Did you finish playing tag with Kokichi? Jeez. I lost track of him. I can't find that guy anywhere. Uh. I couldn't find him, but he still has the mode of card key, right? Ah. Yeah, he should still have it. There's a chance Kukichi could have used the card key and gone somewhere. Yeah. Well, he ended up getting away, but look what I found. Got it. It's a flashback light. Ah. Oh, you found one. Of course. I am worried about Kokichi, but I think we should deal with this first. So let's all gather in the dining hall. What? Uh, I'm coming too. Ah. Oh, wait a minute. There are other places I want to check first. Can I meet up with you later? Oh, yeah? Then I'll go on ahead to the dining hall. No. You're not going to check this place? I believe in you. I'll let Shuichi handle it. You got this, right? Right, Shuichi? Uh, um. y yeah, right. Huh. And once you're done, come to the dining hall. Look at that clock. That's fancy. Ew. You didn't even complain. You seriously are his sidekick now. Can't even argue with that. Blasted. Clock looks cool. Ooh. Ooh! I made the chicken come out. Big chicken energy. <sighs> this floor is nice. And there's a d one door left. So there might even be a sixth floor up above. But I don't have a keyblade. Look at how cool this place is. Looks like Anne Orlando in this bitch. Wait, what's the other thing I have? A blue orb of some sort? Maybe it's for the computer room. But nothing springs to mind. Can I throw this orb in the Xbox? I don't remember there being any mysterious objects. Okay, guess not. Bye, Xbox. Boodle-doom. <laughs> yeah, some of them I'm like, I know where that goes. And some of them I'm like, uh, and The first round, the all of them were really easy. You just look for people on the map. It's probably smart. That's what I did in the previous chapter, because I wasn't sure about one of them. Oh, what's my new gift? Proof that you've cleared chapter three, a memento of Corecchio. It covers the mouth and neck to hide them from view. Yeah, I think there is exclamation marks on the map. Uh, people. Oh, out in the courtyard, there's a gaggle of folk. 
Let's go to the courtyard, I guess. Wait, that's up. I'm going down. Already level 50. What's going on out here? Whose labs do we even have left? Rentaro's? Even less green than last time. There's still maintenance going on. Rentaro's and Kokichi's and Kibo's labs are left. So what's the deal with this place anyway? What kind of facility was it before? Are they renovating an old facility? Perhaps constructing a new building? At the start, Monokuma said there were supposed to be facilities for us. That's obviously a lie. That plush bear is stuffed with lies and shit. Well, it's hard to imagine they built this entire facility just for us. That's right. I also think Monokuma was lying. He is an exceptionally deceitful being. Uh, being? Um, well, he is a robot, isn't he? That's robophobic. Shuichi, have you been a robophobe this whole time? No. Uh, no, that's not what I meant. Oof. But when will we finally learn what this ultimate academy really is? Why does it exist? Is it really just a place for us to have the killing game? Yeah. Yeah, what are they building there? A little, like, nuclear reactor action or some shit? I don't know.